Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the F3 car at Silverstone for another track guide. This has always been one of my favourite tracks to drive in any car. That said, let's get straight into the guide. Turn 1 and 2 in this car are flat out. For turn 1, I turn in just after the 100 board in 6th gear and cut the inside kerb. For turn 2, you just want to hug the inside kerb to set up for the next sequence of corners. For this right hander, I brake at the start of the black and white kerb on the floor. I use second gear and try to get a late apex to keep the car over to the right of the track for the next left hander. I try to brake all the way into the apex to avoid understeering and carry more minimum speed. This corner is difficult as there aren't many braking references. I brake as the apex is about to leave the screen and turn in for a late apex. It's very important to get a good exit here as it leads onto a long straight afterwards. You need to be careful in applying the throttle as the car can very easily spin. You can use the kerb on the entry to open up the corner. I brake at the 50 board down to 3rd gear by the apex. It can be easy to lock up through here as you are turning in and braking at the same time. My peak brake pressure is around 50% and I slowly come back onto the throttle when I reach the apex. For the long right hander I use 2nd gear and aim for a double apex. I gradually come back onto the throttle around the middle of the corner and get to full throttle by the last red sausage kerb. I don't spin on the exit because I open up the steering putting less load through the car. The track limit on the exit is the black and white kerb. For cops I turn in before the 50 board and trail brake slightly when it leaves the screen. I shift down to 5th gear and get back on throttle before the start of the inside kerb. I use the sausage kerbs on the inside and the track limit on the exit is the black and white kerb. The next sequence can be difficult with the wrong line. The first right is flat out and difficult and you can cut the kerb slightly. For the left I use 4th gear. I spiked around 40% brake pressure and come off quickly to get the car to turn in. I don't go over the black and white part of the kerb on the inside. Then I hold it in 4th gear through the final right. On the entry you want to be near the left side of the track and turn in for a mid apex. I start to come back onto the throttle around the first sausage kerb and I'm back to full throttle by the last. Be careful with the traction as I spun here a few times in while practicing. For this right hander I start braking at the kerb and shift to 4th gear. I get mid apex and very slowly come back onto the throttle as the car can be quite oversteering around the middle of the corner. The track limit on the exit is the black and white kerb again. For the final chicane I brake at the start of the kerb on the right and shift to 2nd gear. I avoid the red sausage kerb on the inside and try to be around the middle of the track on the exit. I lift in 2nd gear for the next part of the chicane to get the car to turn in. It's important that you avoid the red kerb on the exit as the car will bottom out with it. Then from here it's flat out all the way to the line. So that was one lap. One thing I noticed to gain time here is you have to maximise the track limits. That's all for this guide, if you did enjoy it please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everyone that does, and I'll leave you the full uninterrupted hot laps.